welcome back to learn to code for kids <laughs> i almost forgot what it was called <laughs> all right in this video we're going to look at some components and i want you to listen and pay really good attention because i have a test for you at the end all righty let's see what we got here before when we play the game or right now i should say nothing happens how about we have the ball fall onto the cube? Right now, we know that both the ball and the cube has a collider. This has a fierce collider, which makes it circular. And this has a box collider. And that's basically a hitbox. So they will not be able to pass through each other while the game is playing. Let's test that theory. Well, they can pass through each other because I'm dragging it. But if the game is playing, they shouldn't be able to do so. Well, let's add some physics to the ball to allow the ball to actually use gravity. The component we're looking for is under the physics uh, category here in this component. So remember the button to add components to an object? Well, I have the fierce selected. Let's add component go to physics and what we're looking for is called a rigid body this is by far the component you would use the most when any time you're trying to achieve movements real gravity and movements okay now the fierce has a mass and it's using gravity. Let's play. It falls right onto the box. Let's do one thing. Let's turn this box into a floor. And let's rename these items so we know what they are. I can right click and go to rename. This will be ball. And then this, the cube, I can go over here and inspect it, it shows all the details about it. And I can rename it up here as well if I wanted to. I'll call this one Floor. Let's turn it into a floor. Squish it down. Pull it out this way. Pull it out this way. You know what? Let's make it somewhat thin like this. There we go. right click use my AWS key to kind of move around make sure everything is aligned properly looks like it is a good thing to try is click the fierce and just go down with it all the way and it does hit the bottom all right and if I play this same thing should happen it should fall onto the floor perfect Although, this should bounce. So, let's take a look at that component. Now, this is the first collider, which is the hitbox. So, it's also looking for material, physics material, which is optional. But we don't have one, so let's create one. Now, this happens down here in our projects and assets can right click and go to create and we have so many different things we can create C sharp script shader testing scene prefab all these other stuff material and what we're looking for is this one right here the physics material now let's give it a name the name is not important but I like to keep my name close to what they're asking and actually going to do. I'm going to call Bob Bouncer. <laughs> Bob the Bouncer <laughs> or Bob Bouncer. Now with this selected, we see all the information again in the inspector about it. The bounciness is set to zero. Let's make it one. And then the bounce combine is set to average. Let's go. Hmm, 
Let's leave it as average. That's fine. Now, if I select my ball, and right in here where it's looking for a physics material, I can just click my physics material, holding down my click, and drag it and drop it right there. So I've just given my ball a bouncy material for physics. It has its rigid body component, which is allows it to use the gravity. So now it should fall and bounce. Pretty nice. If I go back to my physics material, it's already attached to my ball, so I can make the changes here, and they will happen in real time. So, I've said it's a maximum. Let's play the game again. And I have a really cool bounce. If you have this far and you have gotten the same result as I have, well, tap yourself on the back or go into a mirror and tap that mirror person on the shoulder or back. I'm trying to think of how would you tap yourself on the back. You know what? Just give yourself a nice kiss, a nice juicy kiss to yourself because well done. What you did today was called programming. You use the available components in this game or in this Unity 3D engine to build this bouncy ball, which is technically a game. Let's do something else. I have deleted the ball and I'm going to make a cube. Now if the cube fall, it wouldn't fall on the floor. So I'm going to bring it back. Put it down. Looks like it would fall right into the floor. And just bring it up. Now what are we missing for this cube to be able to fall? Physics. Which one was it? The rigid body. That's right. Now it has physics. And it can fall. But it won't bounce, would it? Nope. This is empty. But we did make that Bob Bouncer. Let's put it on the cube. And let's hit play. You know what? Let's select the floor. Bring it back a little this way. You select my rotate tool. Kind of slant it a little bit. So now when I hit play, you should fall, bounce, and fall, and go right off the screen. Awesome. That was fun. All right. I hope you paid attention because before you go to the next video, I want you to make this. So I have two floors and the balls are bouncing just right next to each other. Who knows? They might even hit each other. Oh, looks like one is about to fall. Two floors, two balls. Slanted the floors, rotate them. Make sure both balls have the right physics. <laughs> it looks like I set them to uh, maximum bounce and it's bouncing forever. And there we go. So that is your task, your test, before you watch the next video. See if you can accomplish this on your own. Good luck. Hey, you should become a part of this positive and educational channel by hitting that subscribe button. Again, thank you for watching. Have a great day.